So how smart are you about the food you eat? Tonight we shop with an expert and we discover that when it comes to what's healthy food and what's not, we don't always know as much as we think we do. With the seven facts you absolutely need to know about the food you buy, here's Eyewitness News reporter Jamie Roth. Wouldn't it be handy if a trip to the grocery store came with a registered dietitian? We took Alyssa Rumsey from New York Presbyterian Cornell Medical Center to Fairway on East 86th Street to share some surprising food facts. Number one. A lot of fruits and vegetables are at least 85% water. Eat more fruits and vegetables and you'll stay better hydrated. I try and drink eight glasses of water a day, so that's good to know. Staying with fruits and veggies. Do you like to go fresh or do you like frozen? Go fresh. Food fact number two, fresh does not always mean better. The more days something goes, fruits and vegetables go after it's picked, um, the more the nutrient uh, intake of it declines. You may want to try canned or frozen vegetables and fruits. Two more food facts for you. Cookies and cakes labeled organic or non-fat still have the calories and the sugar of the regular varieties. Try, you know, the higher fat, more natural things like nuts and seeds. Fish, a healthy choice. If you've been told to buy wild fish and avoid farm-raised varieties, here's some news. A lot more farms are, fish farms are becoming more sustainable, more eco-friendly. So it's possible to actually eat farm-raised fish, um, you know, in moderation and not get as much of the contamination. And what about the current focus on Greek yogurt? What should you know about that? But that actually has less calcium than regular versions. But Rumsey says it still has half the sodium of regular yogurt and generally seven more grams of protein to fill you up. And our final food fact, gluten-free products stocked for those allergic to wheat. But for the whole rest of the general population, it's really not necessary. And by you know eating gluten-free products when you really don't need it, you could lose out on a lot of different vitamins and minerals and fiber as well. On the Upper East Side, Jamie Roth, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.